We live in a world where almost no one believes in monsters. But you have to explore Google Earth to see that it's not that simple. On Google Earth Maps, you can see monsters with giant tentacles, giant sharks, and even Bigfoot. In this episode, I'll show you these and other biggest and creepiest creatures spotted on Google Earth. Let's go! Monster in Antarctica In June 2016, images of the ocean waters of Antarctica appeared on the Internet. The user who posted them said that he saw a strange greenish glow in the depths of the waters. At first glance, there's nothing unusual. The images show only a mountainous island. But if you enlarge the image, you can see a strange light in one of the dark areas. What could it be? After the images appeared on the internet, a heated discussion began. Most supporters of mysticism argued that we finally got proof of the Kraken existence. But if this is indeed a living creature, then judging by the outlines, its torso is at least 73 meters long and its tentacles are at least 88 meters long. Of course, there were more realistic versions. Some thought that there was a humpback whale in the picture or that the cause of the appearance of an unusual silhouette on the surface of the water was just underwater rocks. But all of these are just guesses because this region is not yet sufficiently explored. So what do we really see? Is it possible that somewhere in the depths of Antarctic waters is a giant creature? We don't know that for sure. Jaws from Merseyside In December 2010, 36-year-old Simon Hoban was looking at the docks in Merseyside, England using Google Earth. He saw something unusual in one of the images. The silhouette resembled a giant shark. But how could it be in the middle of the Albert Dock, a local landmark and the site of many celebrations? Fortunately, if it really was a shark, it could hardly have attacked swimmers at the time because that winter day the temperature was so low that only a madman would have chosen to swim in the sea. But if Hoban did find a shark at the docks, what kind of species could it have been? Experts believe the silhouette resembles an adult of a species known as the basking shark. These sharks can grow up to 9 meters in length. Surprised that such fish even swim to British shores? In fact, there are more than 20 different species of sharks in the territorial waters of this country, and another 40 species periodically visit the region in search of food. The Loch Ness Monster The Loch Ness Monster, or Nessie, is a monster that, according to Scottish urban legend, lives in Loch Ness. Those who believe in the existence have been trying to find proof for decades. Of course, Google Earth was also used to search for Nessie. In 2014, Peter Thane and Andy Dixon, two newcomers to the Nessie hunt, found the monster's silhouette while looking at maps on their smartphones. The time was perfect. None of the tourists or locals had seen a sign of Nessie for 18 months straight. Everyone was beginning to think that the monster, which had lived for years, might have died or left the lake. Surprisingly, not everyone was able to discover Thane and Dixon's find. For some reason, the monster was only visible on their smartphone maps. Crabzilla In October 2014, the British newspaper Sunday Express published a picture of a huge crab allegedly living near the town of Whitstable in the south of the country. The giant with a body length of at least 15 meters was instantly named Crabzilla, and the photo that made it into the newspaper went viral and it still can be found on the internet. In fact, the photo appeared on the internet a year before it was published by journalists. The first time it could be seen by users of the website called Weird Witstable. The author of the post at first did not claim that the images were authentic. He reported his doubts about the reality of Crabzilla in an interview for the Sunday Express. However, after a while, the man changed his mind and began to claim that he had personally seen a huge crab off the coast of his hometown. Should we believe him? A Creature from New Zealand In late 2014, an engineer named Pat Whitehair found a monster on the New Zealand coast. It swam into the very middle of Oak Bay, which is popular with locals. No specific details, unfortunately, can be seen in the photos. The creature looks like a dark line in the water. Most of all, it resembles a huge snake. But what is interesting, the Maori tribes who inhabited these lands in ancient times knew about such a creature and even gave it a name, Taniwa. It's rather strange that in spite of the developed tribal mythology, Taniwa has no universally accepted description. Moreover, the Maori firmly believe that the animal is capable of taking the form it likes or the form which is most convenient for the things it intends to do. 
For example, Tiny Wop prefers to traverse the oceans as a giant white shark, whale, or creepy octopus. On land or in inland waters, the monster takes on the appearance of an animal, the closest analog of which would be a dinosaur. The terrestrial Taniwa is a giant lizard with sharp, bony spines along its spine. Whitehair picked the best time to publish his find. He did it a week after Internet users discussed the existence of Crabzilla, so that people's interest in Google Earth finds has already been heightened. But the engineer failed to intrigue the locals. They quickly conducted their own investigation and found out that this was no snake. The pictures show the most ordinary boat. And if it doesn't leave a foam trail behind it, it can be explained. Experienced sailors know that in the waters off the coast of New Zealand, you often have to slow down to avoid hitting small rocks. At such times, the foam trail of boats becomes almost invisible or disappears altogether. Thanks to Google Earth, we can stumble upon not only strange creatures and monsters, but also new species of animals, allowing science to move forward. Keep watching to find out how scientists discovered a whole bunch of unknown animals thanks to Google Earth, and see what other mysterious creatures web users have stumbled upon. Let's move on. New Species On the territory of the African state of Mozambique is a mountain that's probably never been explored by any scientist except pioneering geographers. The locals call the mountain Mabu. A lot of attention is being paid to it these days, but what's the reason? In 2008, Dr. Julian Bayliss of the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew discovered a large, previously unexplored forested area in Mozambique during a detailed study of satellite maps. It was located in the highlands in one of the most poorly explored spots in Africa, where there had been a civil war for many years which is not known to be conducive to research activities. Mount Mabu became a center of species diversity for the surrounding areas. Moreover, a biocenosis with a large number of endemic species was formed there. It means here you can stumble upon some creatures that are not found anywhere else in the world. Because of the curious history of the discovery, this mountain range was jokingly referred to as the Google Forest. Of course, the scientists couldn't wait. Dr. Bayless's team organized a research expedition to the mountain, which was attended by 28 biologists from Mozambique, Great Britain, Switzerland, Tanzania, and Malawi. In just three weeks, the team discovered 125 species of birds, including endangered ones, more than 250 species of butterflies, at least five of them were described for the first time, and many other rare endemic or even unknown to science species of reptiles, amphibians, and plants. In addition, interesting finds were also found among mammals. New species of bats and rodents were found on the mountain. Rabbit in the Mountains I bet the first person who discovered this object felt uncomfortable. What would you think if you accidentally found a giant pink rabbit in the mountains? In fact, it's just a strange landmark. The giant pink rabbit has been seen in the mountains of Italy for over a decade. The giant plush toy lies 1,800 meters above sea level. This pose seems to suggest that the rabbit accidentally fell out of an airplane and found a home here. However, today there's almost nothing left of the cute pink rabbit and it's almost all decomposed. Actually, that was the plan. The rabbit was stuffed with straw and the top was covered with a soft waterproof cloth. It was supposed to remain on the Piedmont Mountains for no more than 20 years and would eventually disappear naturally. Bigfoot Legends of a creature similar to Bigfoot are rooted in the folklore of both Europe and North America. Surprisingly, legends of similar monsters have survived in other countries as well. Strange unanimity, isn't it? Bigfoot, as it appears in the movies today, came to us from an oral tradition well known to the people of British Columbia, Oregon, and Washington. Most anthropologists deny Bigfoot's existence, but in 2013, a Google Earth user managed to get hypothetical confirmation that scientists were wrong. The enlarged images quickly gained popularity on YouTube, but users could not come to a consensus. Someone really discerned the figure of monster among thickets, but others argue that we see just a trunk of an old rotten tree. One way or another, none of the disputants dared to go to the area to check for sure. Megalodon The prehistoric Megalodon shark is thought to have become extinct about 2.6 million years ago. But are all Megalodons extinct? A recent internet find suggests that one individual may have survived climate change. Back in November 2017, while examining Google Earth images, one user found something that looked like the outline of a huge shark. He guessed that the shark was about 21 meters. 
Scientists at the University of British Columbia deny the possibility that Megalodon may live in the world ocean today, but after all, there's always a chance that scientists are wrong. That's all, guys. Do you believe that the Megalodon can still be alive? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.